Hi guys, welcome to my new video about a tiny FM transmitter, also known as a FM spybug. In this example here it works on FM radio frequencies but could easily be tuned to something different. Its power supply is a really small 1.5 volt button cell and it has a range of about 160 feet. The circuit here was tuned to 87 MHz. We'll do a little test using an old news broadcast. I go outside and I will go away from the house to test the range of the transmitter. In dem vorangegangenen Meinungsaustausch hatten beide Seiten die Vereinbarungen als einen weiteren wichtigen Schritt zur Vertiefung der Zusammenarbeit beider Parteien und Staaten gewählt. Mengistu Helle Mariam brachte seinen tief empfundenen Dank für die erwiesene solidarische Hilfe zur Überwindung der Dürrefolgen in Äthiopien sowie für die erklärte Bereitschaft der DDR zum Ausdruck, diese wirksame Unterstützung fortzusetzen. Die Partei und Staatsführer stellten übereinstimmend fest, dass die Zusammenarbeit vom gemeinsamen Eintreten für Frieden und Fortschritt gegen die imperialistische Politik der Hochrüstung und Konfrontation gegen den Kurs der Einschüchterung und Erpressung geprägt ist. Now here the signal is getting too weak to be received with this radio. The distance to the transmitter is now about 145 feet. Now let's see how to build this little circuit. This is the schematic. It's a pretty simple circuit as we can see. We see the microphone to the left, then a couple of capacitors and two transistors which are part of the oscillator. To the right then there is the high frequency output where the antenna will be connected. First of all we remove some material from the borders of the printed circuit board. It takes some time so we will switch to fast forward here. This is the board ready to be assembled. It's a 0.8 mm thick PCB. The components will be mounted on one side and the battery on the other side. We will now glue the PCB with two very small drops of super glue around the edges onto a hot plate. It could also be done on an aluminum plate or something similar that we can put into an oven or a stove. Now we have to put a small amount of solder paste on each pad that will receive a component. We best use a needle for that or anything else pointed enough. This is gonna take a little while, we switch to fast forward again. Many of the pads are only fractions of an inch wide so we need pretty steady hands. If too much of the solder paste is deposited or it's not in the right position then this should be corrected before placing the components. We are almost there. Now here comes the hard part, placing the components. Some of them have very small dimensions, they are only 0.016 inches by 0.008 inches large. These are almost the smallest components currently available. It goes without saying that we need a microscope for that. The relatively cheap USB microscopes we can buy on eBay for example are good enough for this purpose. The components are pushed as good as possible into the right position. If solder paste is missing anywhere it can be added at this moment. The biggest component here is the microphone. To keep cost low I didn't choose the smallest one. That would have been much more expensive. The price for all the parts here is about $6 on DigiKey plus shipping cost. Now we adjust the hot plate to about 250 degrees Celsius. That's about 480 Fahrenheit. The solvent will evaporate and at one point the solder paste starts to liquefy. We see that the components are then automatically pulled into the right position.
The bot should then be removed from the hottest spot in order to avoid damaging the microphone. Then we solder the antenna wire onto the PCB. And to connect the battery we use here a wire that is soldered into two wires. That wire serves also as the battery support. We could also solder two wires to plus and minus to connect a different battery to the circuit. And last but not least, we put in the battery. Yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video then like and share. And if you subscribe you'll also be informed of my future projects. Thank you.